Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain the steps you can take to quickly clean out your inbox. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. If you're like me, your inbox is full of lots of emails, many of them unread or not labelled. I want to clear down my inbox. I'll use a two-step process to do this. Firstly, I'll find and remove all of those emails I can safely delete. And then I'll save the emails I want to keep out of my inbox by archiving them. Let's start with the email deletion to remove those emails that I don't need from the inbox immediately. I'll do this by finding and deleting large groups of emails, also known as a bulk delete. So for example, I've received a lot of emails from timeouts. I can quickly select all of the timeout emails by clicking into any one of them. And if I now move my mouse cursor to the top right of that email, you'll see there's a three dots or ellipsis icon shown here. If I click on that, a number of additional actions are shown. But the one I'm interested in is the filter messages like this option. Let's choose that now. Gmail then opens a search filter window and it has automatically added the details of the timeout email. This will help me to identify any mails that are received from this email sender in the future. I now want to tell Gmail what to do with the emails that have been filtered. To do that, I'll click on the Create Filter link at the bottom of the search box. This opens a new page from which we can choose a number of options. I'm going to tell Gmail to delete those filtered emails by clicking on the checkbox next to the Deleted option. Moving to the bottom of this page, you'll also see that Gmail has an option to apply this filter to any matching messages that are found. Let's click into that checkbox to ask Gmail to delete all of these emails from the inbox. To finally delete all those mails, all I need to do now is click on the large blue Create Filter button. Gmail confirms that the filter has been created. And if I now open the deleted folder in the left hand panel of Gmail, you'll see that a number of the timeout emails have been deleted. There are a number of different ways you can find and delete large groups of emails in Gmail. Check out the Woggle guide shown above that explains some of the different ways to delete large groups of emails from your inbox. You can of course use a mix of these methods to remove the maximum number of emails from your inbox. You should now continue to work through the large groups of emails in your inbox to clear them out. Let's now move on to look at archiving emails out of the inbox that you might want to save. When you archive an email, all Gmail does is it removes the inbox label from that email, so it no longer appears in your inbox. If you want to find out more about what happens when you archive an email, check out the Wago guide above that explains more about this. Archiving an email couldn't be easier. Just like with deleting emails, the first thing I want to do is find the emails I want to archive. This time, I'll do that just by moving my mouse to the search bar at the top of the Gmail inbox. If I click into that, I'll type my friend's name. And once I find that, I'll click on it once to select it. All the emails I've received from my friend are then shown. Looking at these mails, you'll see that each already has an inbox label to indicate that it's in my inbox. If I hover over the top mail, a number of additional options appear on the right hand side of that email row. We're interested in the very first one, however, archive an email. Let's click on that once to choose it. Gmail immediately archives that mail and pops up a confirmation message to prove it. You'll also notice that the inbox label has now disappeared from this email. Now, if you have a large number of emails from a friend like I do that you want to archive and save, then it could take a long time to do that individually. Luckily, Gmail allows you to archive all of your emails in a few clicks. To select all, I need to move my mouse cursor to the checkbox at the very top of the inbox. Clicking on this once, you'll see that all of the emails in my search have now been selected. A number of new options have also appeared next to that checkbox at the top of the screen. Again, we're interested in the very first one. Archive. Clicking on this once will immediately remove the inbox label from those mails and Gmail confirms that they've been archived. To see those emails at any time, you can simply search for your friend's name again. Or if you want to find all of your archived emails, 
check out the Woggle guide above that explains how to do this. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.